It's two o'clock now, so I'm I'm about ready to throw throw some hands down. All right, team, YouTube, here we go. So I am two weeks out now. I've been saying to people that I've been two weeks out for a very long time, but it is actually less than two weeks because it is now Monday. Easter rolled around and I actually handled it a lot better than I thought I would. In saying that, like, we don't really do too much for Easter. We just had a dinner. In hindsight, we should have made it at lunch because we were very tired by the time we got there and I was very angry after it because I was just got to that point. I think about the two weeks out mark is like where things get really, really like, well, for me, I'm not gonna speak on it for everyone, but just like, it's dragging and I'm just ready to eat some food and be normal. I think to last night I said to Matt, like I haven't felt like satisfied after eating or I could always have more or there's always that voice in my head going like, just have a little bit extra. So it's just all these like intrusive thoughts that are getting progressively worse, but it's all good. I'm actually looking probably my best that I think I've looked this morning. I know that's a large call, but we're just trying to find what looks best in terms of how many days post high days, how many low days it takes. So that was essentially the day after a low day after loading. So one low day. Yeah, and my weight came down heaps faster than it ever has after a high days. So that's always good. So I actually did have some chocolate for Easter. I tracked it in obviously, but look, it was one of those things where you have it and you're like, I just want more. Things to note, posing is actually feeling pretty good. I think that as long as I don't overthink it, I'll be fine. It's, I was practicing every morning whilst I'm doing my photos for my coach. At the moment I'm doing and essentially daily photos and midday photos, so photos twice a day with weight, which is a lot of touch points, but it is what it is to get the best outcome for this and make sure we're getting the right look. I'm also prepping a bunch of girls for their own shows, so they kind of coincide at the same time as mine, which isn't a problem. I'm used to working, obviously, during prep, so I'm just spending more time at the moment getting them ready in terms of them knowing what to do. So that's exciting for them. They're all looking fucking phenomenal. So I'm super, super excited. And yeah, we just got to book flights. Everything else is paid for, booked. And I'll show you some of my food today on a low day and a little bit of my training. And that's really about it for this YouTube. I'll keep it short, sweet. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Meal one, eggs, toast, egg whites. Yummo, yummo. A little bit avo. She's going. She's hungry. She's ready to go. No hemis. Under two weeks out. It's really important that she focuses on, well, it's always important we focus on technique and control on the low, but risk injury is high now. Being just depleted and fatigue will be up there as well. So everything she's trying to manage at the moment. The goal here is just to Maintain her strength as much as possible. Preserve that muscle tissue. The heavy, look at the cuts. Good. <laughs> How's the strength? Okay. Five out of ten now, it's okay. It's actually fine. You're maintaining your numbers though, yeah? Drive the hips back, focus. I can stabilize that pelvis. Good. During prep, you realize, or if you ever do a prep, or if anyone does want to do one, you realize how food affects your mood so much. I usually would train a lot earlier, so like 11 o'clock, but we got here late because we don't have care today, so mum's had to watch Luna. <sighs> And I am just in a filthy mood, you know? <laughs> Matt's like, just taking his time at the gym today. Meanwhile, I've had one meal this morning, so I'm just starving. It's two o'clock now, so I'm I'm about ready to throw, throw some hands down. Gonna hit some chicken and stir fry up when I get home. And that's about it, guys. I'll show you what these meals look like for the rest of the day, and then I'll clock out. Then that will be my official two weeks out vid. I don't really know what else to tell you. This is kind of the general mood right now. I'll probably get a little bit of energy back in me when I get some food in me, but filth at this stage. Filth at this stage. Wait on. Potters, chickens, and for reference. 
So I'm not too sure how much of this you can hear because there's Paul Patrol going on in the background, but I am just prepping Luna's lunches for the week. So what I will usually do is like get a bunch of meat and today is chicken breast and I've made a chicken breast pasta with like bolognese sauce and some veggies in there. I was meant to save some pasta for Matt, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Obviously I'm not weighing her food and she's not counting calories or some dumb shit like that. Just making healthy meals that she may or may not eat because you know she's a toddler and they aren't always playing the game when it comes to food. So we have to do her lunches essentially for daycare every day. Well she doesn't go every day but four days a week or this may be a dinner if I don't have the time. So I think it's important to show your kids that you can make them nutritious, healthy, easy foods. And it's a skill that not a lot of people have. Let's be honest, there's so many people that eat like takeaway every night. And some people be like, what's wrong with that? And you're like, you're not learning the skill of being able to do something yourself. Like you rely on someone else making your food all the time. It's not cool, is it? It's not cool at all. I think it's important to be able to feed your family nutritious food and to be able to pass that skill down because we have a lot of parents currently that have no idea how to feed themselves, feed their families, and they're essentially just creating generation of generation of unhealthy, dependent people that don't have any life skills. That is my parent rant for the day. If you're a parent, set a good example for your kids. Put me on the spot. What have I had to get you to do with the chocolate here? I had to hide it. I was pretty upset because I was like, Emily, you're better than this. You were angry at me. Emily, you have control. I've seen you 10 years of competing. And this is what you got to do. I've got to go to these. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when it was my turn and I was struggling, I just said, look, just put it in the cupboard. Just slightly out of sight. But I had to go remove it from the cupboard and actually hide it all from Emily. Look, there wasn't a lot of chocolate. She's exaggerating. There was more chocolate than what we would normally have. But compared to most, I think it was probably pretty conservative. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. We, we watched our daughter go like this yesterday. <laughs> Peeking on the little bit of chocolate that we give her. So it was a good reminder for us as to why we don't allow her to have too much We we give it to her in moderation, but yeah. not excessive amounts <laughs> for or a good reason. Don't even realize that they're feeding their kids sugar in there. Yeah, just the normal foods. They don't, if, if you don't have education around it, you don't realize there's a reason why they like it so much because it's full of sugar. Like even breads and stuff like that. So cereals, obviously. But it was a really good reminder because some of the behavior we saw yesterday were like, there you go. I know I've been promising you guys pictures of videos of my food, but it just didn't happen as much as I wanted to today. But honestly, I've just been having the same thing. Chicken, stir fry, vegetables, teriyaki sauce. Then I actually had a ninja creamy tonight instead of like my last wheat bix meal. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I rated it as much as I wanted to. It just tastes like the same thing for the whole thing. I don't know how to explain that any better. And it will be better in my off season when I can actually put like mix in and it's tasty. So I don't think I'm gonna do that tomorrow night. I'm just gonna stick with my normal meal. And that's, I guess, being my downfall. This entire prep has been, I've just been changing slightly too much. And it's like, it's not like the normal person changing. Like instead of having wheat bix every night, I've been having wheat bix ninja kumi, ninja kumi wheat bix. Like just swapping one meal for the other one. So small changes, not a big deal. I'm fucking so hungry at this stage though. I just had to converse with myself and fight with myself for about 15 minutes as to why I should or should not have a hot crust bun whilst Matt was putting me in his bed. And I didn't have it, I won. But that's just the exhausting thought processes that is happening right now. So I'll end this video out and I'll put some actually while I'm talking. I, I did my check-in this morning. I've done actually photos every day, twice a day some days for the last 10 days essentially. Just to really be perfecting that look. And I know that sounds like a lot and it is. Like when you're running a business, you have a family and you're also coaching 45, uh, clients yourself it's there's a lot of fucking work so i'm just doing it i'm busy like when people ask me how i've been i'm, I'm just i'm just busy it's busy doing everything so tomorrow up walk with meg uh check in after that then i have some photos with a friend corey who i actually i haven't been doing any photos this prep to be honest with you like not enough but she is just starting photography and i wanted to do that for her so that is tomorrow morning and then I will crack into some work and I just have upper body so that's an easy session and then I'll have my clients obviously so 
I usually have around 10, 15 client check-ins each day. Then obviously like admin work in terms of just like making the teams all good, take the teams all good, my new clients are all set up properly and all the coaches are doing well. I send out surveys, review them on a daily basis, reach out to ambassadors. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I've been doing, a lot more of this prep than I ever have. We have a mentor, business mentor, Jude Spooner, and she's fantastic. She's just really highlighted to me how much work needs to be put in to go to that next level. And I've really just done that this time. Instead of being like, oh, I'm too busy, you know, I've got so much on. And yeah, we do, we all are busy. We have, all have so much on, but the work has to be done regardless. So I've been on to it. There was a week there that I was really fucking slack and I was just like, I was just scraping by just doing my client check-ins. But most of the I'm pretty good. Like mentally, I'm, I'm pretty there. Just this week has been a bit low. But we're nearly there, guys. I didn't overeat tonight, which is a fucking good, good sign. So tomorrow we'll see what my weight is. Then probably another low day tomorrow. I'm going to assume three low days. So wait, yeah, three low days. Probably four low days at this stage, let's be honest. But yeah, I was going for my photo, my checking photos here. Checking photos front. My front pose, I'm actually feeling like it's getting coming along a lot. I feel like I'm actually just able to take the photos without the mirror to make sure that I'm kind of emulating what's going to be happening on stage. So I walk into it, I really push into that back hip and I feel like I'm coming up with the right pose. Side pose, I still feel like I'm just feeling like thick through the waist, but that's just me and my own insecurities. And I'm just, I'm just looking really lean right now, obviously. So the idea of is, is to kind of come in this condition, but just fuller. So we're, we're trying to, we're getting there. We're getting there with the high days. Back pose is probably my favorite. I just feel like it's really come along really well. And the side booty pop, it's not bad. I can only do the best that I can. And that's through like the posing and making sure I'm on to it, my diet, my training. So I'm doing those things doing those things tomorrow i'll wake up do it all again do it all again i'm sorry for the strangely put together youtube this week but i'll do another one probably end of week more along the lines of one week out to see where we're at, at that stage <laughs>